Praise the Lord. Dearly beloved, do you know failure is not part of your redemptive rights? Failure is anti-redemption. Everything that Christ died for is your right in redemption. And one of it is good success. But do you know you can live a failure-proof life? Many a time in our journey in destiny, we fail in life only when our faith has failed. In Luke 22, verse 31 and 32, Jesus speaking to Peter, he said, Peter, Simon, Simon, the devil seek to save you as wheat, but I've prayed for you that your faith will fail not. That in fast, that faith failure is responsible for all the failures of men. In this teaching, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I'll be opening your eyes to what it takes to keep your faith working so that you do not fail anymore and you no longer stay under the oppression of the devil. It's my joy and privilege again to welcome you to the voice of destiny, inspiring your moment and speaking to your life. I'm Chris Emmanuel. I'll be continuing our faith series that I've started for a period of time. And today I shall be anchoring the topic that is titled Faith Boosters faith boosters dearly beloved i like you to understand that faith does not stand alone faith depend on other spiritual forces in order for it to deliver its results i've seen many people's faith fail because they do not know other components or companions of faith that makes faith stand strong faith doesn't stand alone in the book of second peter chapter 1 and from verse 5 he said and beside this giving all diligence add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness add brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness add charity verse 8 says for if these things be in you and abound they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh this thing is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was once poured from his own sins. Dearly beloved, there are things to add to faith in order for faith to be effective and productive and a never failing force. Faith. Is the whole essence of the Christian walk outside of faith nothing tangible nothing effective or nothing creative can happen with man but with the faith of man in place a lot of things can happen I like you to understand that there are things that boast the performance of our faith what are faith boosters dearly beloved faith boosters are covenant triggers that instigate the tenacious performance of faith Convenant triggers that instigate the tenacious performance of faith. What are faith boosters? Faith boosters are spiritual catalysts that drives faith action to a glorious performance. So when we talk about faith boosters, we are talking about spiritual catalysts. What is a catalyst? Anything that speeds up the rate of a reaction. Now there are things that facilitate the performances of faith. These are the things we'll be looking at in this teaching. Because some of us claim to have faith, but at a certain time it goes out. There are certain forces spiritually that instigate the performance of our faith. The first force we'll consider today is the force of revelation. The first faith booster we are looking at today is the, the faith booster of revelation. Now I'd like you to know that the primary source of faith is the word of God. Faith takes its bearing from the word of God. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. It says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There are two hearing in that scripture. The first one is to listen to the word of God. And the second one talks about the understanding of the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 130. Say the entrance of the word giveth light. It giveth understanding to the simple. The entrance, not just the hearing of God's word. Faith only becomes 
pregnant in the inside of our heart when understanding of the word of God comes. Revelation is spiritual understanding. Revelation is the illumination of scripture upon our hearts. And until understanding comes, faith does not come alive in man. One helper of your faith is good understanding of scripture. Mark chapter 4 and verse 11, Jesus speaking to them, say unto you, it's given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. And for them that are without, it is not given. But for you, it is your revelational knowledge that drives your faith for effective performance outside of revelation faith will be barren in its operation faith doesn't come except there is a revelation of the word of god the revelation of the word of god is the fountain of faith faith flows out from the depth of revelation why hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 the bible said the word of god is quick and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword with capacity to cut into the spirit and soul into the bone and the marrow but the beginning phrase of that scripture say the word of god is quick looking at the amplified classical um, rendition of that scripture it said god's word is alive and full of power and he gets four description of that power in god's word he said number one it is effective Number two, it is operational. Number three, it is energetic. And number four, it is active. This in fact, that the revelation of God's word in your heart keep your faith active, keep your faith operational, keeps your faith effective, and keeps your faith strong. Nothing make men full of faith like the aliveness of God's word in their heart. Every time we are absent-minded of what God is saying, we truly can walk in faith. So one of the covenant triggers of faith is the revelation of the word of God. In Psalm 73, David said, when he looked at how the wicked had succeeded, his heart was in pain. But in verse 17, he said, then when I entered into the temple and I understood their end, faith came back in him. Now, i like you to understand the reason why you are losing strength in displaying your faith is because there's no depth of revelation. The deeper your access into the revelation of God's word, the stronger your faith. So one of the covenant and boosters of our faith is revelation of the word of God. So the more of God's light of his word you have inside, the more alive your faith is. Faith is a shield that can quench every fairy dart of the devil. But it will take the aliveness of God's word to be able to lift up that shield against all that hell has to offer. I've seen believers who know God and yet still consult witch doctors, still consult alternative sources, and they tell you that we will need to help ourselves no you can't have a deep revelation of who god is what god can do and still look for alternative outside god so your faith is help to effective performance by depth of revelation so revelation is one thing every believer must hunt after in order to keep his faith alive and ever performing when we are revelation bankrupt we are bound to fail in faith when our heart is dried of the word of god then there can be manifestation of faith faith only tries in a heart where the word of god is alive it is the aliveness of god's word in your spirit that causes faith to be strong and never yielding friends i go to the number two faith booster of today and that is what i call hope the force of hope the force of hope this is an essential force that keeps faith functional now i'd like you to understand hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1 he said now without he said faith is the substance of the things hoped for hope is an essential ingredient and a vital force to keep faith working hear me below this is how hope operates hope is the eyes of faith hope sees into the future of what is possible hope looks into the future with anticipation that this thing can change then while hope is the eyes of faith 
faith is the power to turn hope into reality now you must understand that hope is the seen eyes of faith faith only sees things through our hope when our hope is dry faith has no sight to run through i like you to understand that until your hope sees it faith cannot get it whatever your faith cannot get is what your hope have not seen so a hopeless man will be a man that doesn't have any target for faith this is what i saw in my studies as i studied hope is the platform upon which faith stands for performance so without hope there will be no platform without hope there will be no pace for faith to run to hit its target hope set the stage faith hits the target i'd like you to look at the following scripture with me in romans chapter 5 and verse 5 he said hope maketh not ashamed because of the love of god that is shed up in our hearts by the holy ghost now i'd like you to see the woman with the issue of blood the scripture recorded clearly and told us in that scripture in luke chapter 8 he told us from that scripture that this woman had lost all she had because all her earnings were gone. But this woman has heard about Jesus, revelation of Jesus, that Jesus can heal. And suddenly, hope came back to her. She had lost all in the previous part, but she heard about somebody, the revelation of that person, and it brought about hope. So, the fountain of our hope is in revelation. That This is how it works. Her revelation put hope in us that it can change. And when hope see the possibility of things changing, faith takes over and hits the target. Right now, this woman told herself, I, I, I'm just, I just believe if I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. There's somebody listening to me right now. You've written several exams and you have failed and you have given up, you have lost hope and told yourself, I'm not writing anymore. Can I let you understand until you give up, God has not given up on you. Until you give up, that situation is not yet over until you say no god has not closed the case yet somebody that is hearing me this morning hearing me from any part of the world i like you to understand that hopelessness is the end of all situation but if you can remain hopeful things will turn around for the better look at what the book of job chapter 14 and verse 7 says job chapter 14 verse 7 it says in that place for there is hope of a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease though the root thereof wax old in the earth and the stalk thereof die in the ground yet the scent of water it will burn again i like you to understand that faith cannot fail when hope is in view when hope stands strong faith doesn't miss its target so your faith is only shaky as your hope remember in the book of romans chapter 4 from verse 18 we were told about abraham the bible speaking in romans 4 18 who against hope believe in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be abraham against hope believe in hope he was already 99 there were no scientific proof that this is possible sarah was already 90 everything that happened to a woman it is natural to give up hope when all natural factors are out but the good news is our hope rises from the promises of god second corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 the bible says all of his promises in christ are yea and amen so every time we lose sight of what god is saying we lose hope so to keep in our hearts the word of god keep us hopeful and to remain hopeful faith will rise from that point so your faith rises from your hope what your hope can see is what your faith can hit as a target whatever your hope cannot comprehend see as possible faith cannot reach it right now the subject of faith is crucial faith rises from the world and build hope in us and when our hope stands strong our faith hits the target because faith is a spiritual force that rises upon other spiritual virtue to make it possible i like somebody hearing me right now your hopelessness is the reason for your 
your faithlessness. And when faith is out, God is out. But the good news I like to tell you right now, no man who truly hope in God will become ashamed because hope maketh not ashamed. Hope is a fundamental spiritual force that you need to keep in place. So if somebody losing hope right now and they told you you can't be married because you have suffered several disappointments and they told you you can't pass this exam because you have failed several times. How many times it has gone wrong doesn't matter. Just one time with God can turn things around right now. Abraham had to wait for 25 years but he never lose hope. The Bible says he hoped against hope. He hoped against hope. Somebody has to keep his hope alive so that his faith can rise to bring about it. Perhaps you are hearing me and the doctors have given a verdict on your life and you have lost hope to live. God sent me to tell you, if you can keep hope alive, your faith will bring about the healing you require. God cannot operate in our life much more than we believe him. I bet our faith cannot perform too much more than we are hoping that God will do it. So I'd like you to understand, these are a essential component that makes faith work if your faith is not working you have to ask yourself what is the revelation upon which my faith is driving number two what is the platform upon which my faith is standing because the original platform for the operation of faith is hope now faith is the substance of things hoped for if you are not hoping for anything faith doesn't see what to reach out for you can i ask somebody right now you have looked down on yourself look down on your family line you have looked down on your finances because of your job because of the economy of the nation you tell yourself there is no hope for the common man that's not true all of our blessings are from above our blessings are not from the earth the bible says blessed be the lord god of heaven the father of our lord jesus christ who had blessed us in heavenly places our blessings are from above and not from the sector we operate from so each time we lose hope we have lost the platform where faith can stand to obtain results i like you hearing me today have you given up on yourself have you given up on the pursuit of your vision? Have you given up on something? God is telling you right now, go back and start building hope again. Because when hope stands sure, no man can be ashamed. Hope maketh not ashamed. The revelation of the word of God is what bats hope in man. It puts strong hope in man. In eternal life, God who cannot lie. Titus 1-2. With hope of eternal life, the one who cannot lie. Whatever God says, you can count on it, you can hold it, and it will not fail. Every Every time you know the assurances of scripture, your hope stand alive. Every time you know the assurances of scripture, your faith stands strong. Dearly beloved, I'm calling out to you, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your spouse. That person can still change. Hoping that God has what it takes to bring about the change. Those who wait on God till the end and never put to shame. These are two covenant boosters i like you to take into consideration start going down to scriptures and finding divine promises building them into your spirit man do not forget it is not the hearing of the word it is a revelation of the word that brings light and when light comes faith is made manifest when faith manifests god's glory is seen i pray for you today in the name of jesus christ i cause every spirit of hopelessness i cause the syndrome of giving up maybe you have tried and nothing has worked God sent me to announce to you that very shortly your desired testimony will become your celebration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, don't give up. Stay with me as I bring you the other series on the faith boosters, other components that make faith work. I see you rising out of obscurity and your glorious destiny shining forth for nations to see. You that has been tagged a failure very shortly all your mockers will see what god has made out of your life all those who have stood on the line mocking what has happened to you very soon their eyes will see the glory of your god and they shall be greatly ashamed congratulations i love you and jesus has a greater plan for your life god bless you please subscribe to this channel if this has blessed you help us to share to somebody the lord bless you we good in jesus precious